Welcome back to Business Connect, where inspired innovation takes place at a higher elevation. While many of the newer businesses in Flagstaff are science and technology focused, one company has been implementing the latest manufacturing technology for nearly four decades and providing high-wage jobs to a growing number of skilled workers. Okay, Rich, you ready for the tour? Bill, that'd be great. Let's go well, take a look. look. Before we take a look, let me make sure you've got the proper safety equipment on because we don't want to ruin our perfect safety record. <laughs> this Perina plant's an amazing facility from the outside. It's huge uh, in a community like Flagstaff. So could you tell me a little bit about uh, what Perina is, a little bit of the history and background and information about the plant. Uh, Nestle Perina Pet Care uh, has been in Flagstaff since 1975. The reason it was established here, they went to some other locations in Arizona and didn't find them quite as appealing as the mountains of northern Arizona. Having it in a nice quality of life area. And what we find today out of our 250 employees is they also enjoy the opportunities around Flagstaff for hiking, fishing, and just the outdoors, not to mention the climate. How important in your mind is the STEM, the science, technology, engineering, math initiative that's uh, going on in Flagstaff? Our technology over the years has changed. When I started with the company 37 years ago, it was a lot of manual labor. Today, it's a lot of automation. And when you take a look at you know, what STEM stands for, science, we have a lab here. Uh, we do a lot of analytics here. Technology, a lot of automation, we've got robotics, and that becomes critical to those that enjoy playing with tech things. We find a lot of the employees enjoy being around that type of equipment. Uh, as far as engineering portion, we have a fairly large engineering staff that helps with our capital programs of installing equipment, the modifying equipment, and so forth. And then from a math standpoint, about everything we do requires some kind of math. We're also looking for employees that can be team-based. We work in a team environment. We want them to take ownership in their process. We want them to participate in, in improvements. So, you know, the dynamics are there for a great organization. We've got great employees. Now, from the standpoint of what our future could be, well, we, we have an opportunity based on who we currently service. We service Arizona, California, northern Mexico as an export. We also uh, service a portion of Nevada, and we go to Hawaii, and then we also export to New Zealand. We still have a lot of potential for growth. Out of our eight facilities, uh, we're one of the ones that still has sufficient space for expansion. There's great career opportunities in manufacturing. This is a fairly advanced facility in terms of manufacturing. So could you tell me a little bit more about what you see in manufacturing today and in this region, and then about this plant and some of the things that are remarkable about it? Well, sure, Rich. Uh, uh, today, manufacturing is not what it used to be. To be in manufacturing today, you have to be very sophisticated because you're looking for efficiencies, drive costs, drive profitability. You know, it's easy for some businesses to manufacture overseas, but there are certain businesses, whether it be food industry, automotive, whatever, it makes more sense to be here within the U.S. and it will always be. But to maintain our competitiveness uh, around the world, we have to be conscious of what the cost is uh, to manufacture and what you see is technology bringing that cost down. So we're always looking at how do we remain competitive now, when I started, everything was manual. You picked up the bag, you put it under the spout, you stepped on the pedal, and you filled the bag, then you put it through a sewing machine. What you're going to see today is a very complex but operable system, but it requires a very educated workforce. The big initiative we have going on right now as a plant is what we call the war on waste. And that is, how do we avoid going to the landfill altogether? We recycle several hundred tons of cardboard totes uh, that we use in our process. We do that every year. Those used to go to the landfill. So we're, you know, we're hoping we need to be environmentally friendly. We need to make sure our employees are working safe. We need to be putting out quality product. That's why we take all our quality testing very seriously. Rich, we're pretty proud of this. Uh, in 2011, we won the National uh, Quality Award from Malcolm Baldridge. It's uh, given out by the Commerce Department, uh, recognizing companies that excel uh, in quality and efficiency. And we're the first food company 
food company, not just pet food company, food company to win this award. So we're pretty proud of that. Bill, can you tell us a little bit about what's uh, the infrastructure of Flagstaff and what makes it a great place to be in manufacturing? One of the standout reasons Rawson Freedom 75 decided to pick Flagstaff was because, number one, that was a major railroad thoroughfare. On the uh, other side of that coin was uh, you had the interstate system. You had 40 and you got 17. Interstate 17 is critical to our business down in Phoenix. When you take a look at this total cost structure of how do you get your goods to market at the most competitive price, infrastructure is everything. So utilities. That's a great point, Rich. Uh, one of the things I found is that the electrical power grid here has been tremendous. APS has been a great partner. We work with them closely. We are obviously a major consumer, but they're always working on programs to be more efficient, helping us be more efficient. We just did the solar array with them, and that was a terrific partnership. We're also with them as far as a Green Choice customer. We give an additional 8% of our energy off alternatives with them. But they offer that to all the manufacturers in this community, so I think they're a great resource. Unisource, same thing. You know, we're a big consumer of natural gas for our boilers. They've helped us take a look at how do we get it here cheaper and so forth, so a great service from them. But also, you know, I don't want to leave out the city. The city's always looking, what can they make it uh, life easier for us here in this community and able for us to continue our expansions. You know, we've had two expansions in the last 10 years, you know, and hopefully somewhere down the road we'll have a third one. Thanks for joining us for Business Connect. Look for more business profiles as Northern Arizona continues to expand as a hub for science, technology, and other sophisticated industries. For more information, you can visit the Econa website. Econa is the economic collaborative of Northern Arizona, working to enhance the economic vitality of our region. I'm your host, Cindy May. Thanks for watching.